So, as, as much as we normally like to rename people, the only guys you uh, could rename this time out, chat, are all redshirt freshmen. They won't play this year, and you might just end up wasting a name. So, we're going to hold off on renaming people this year because it literally doesn't make sense. Um, none of them are going to play this year, and some of them might walk at the end of the year. Uh, so, we start off this new season. Stanford, defending national champs. They are number one. The Georgia Tech in the top six. Obviously, we uh, pretty much know what the top 25 looks like because we were turned down by all of them for potential games. So we are going to remove everybody that is not a three-star, which is all but four damn people. That's just really unfortunate how, uh, how kind of piss-poor our options are. In terms of recruitment, because right now it kind of feels like we're on the cusp of missing out on a decent little window to do something. Does kind of feel that way. So I hope this season, I mean again, we're fresh off of our best season ever. I hope this season we actually get that much closer to accomplishing our, our potential here but um, an invite to a different uh, to a different conference wouldn't be the worst thing in the world right now this guy's out of South Carolina he's gonna be relatively expensive to find out most things about so we'll do the bare minimum for these four and again, we'll have to decide just how aggressive we want to be in terms of signing guys immediately or not. The center would make sense, and then one of the forwards, and then maybe leave the other two unless they go four-star. I'm not sure. Coaching-wise, we do have to set up our roster for the year. So let's see what we got. Again, we got our four redshirt freshmen. Procella, the obvious starter there. Flax and Flax, the obvious starter there. At least the Lube is a 76 in his first season, which is awesome. So he'll be able to take over for Rask for Raycroft pretty well. Power forward, we do have to decide if Rodman's actually going to play in his proper position. I don't think we are going to have him in his proper position. So, sorry to uh, to Mr. Kingston, but he's really going to be out of it. Then we drop down old Meat Stick. Honestly, we'll have Meat Stick be at the bottom there. We'll have Kingston ahead of him. And then Rodman... And we'll have to eft it at center, Miles Davis at power forward. So you have Rodman as the sixth man. I don't hate Scully, Pump, The Lube, and Kingston. I think that'll be the setup for this season, at least to start. At least to start. And I do think we'll stay in the same situation. This is our tenth year. With the Black Bears already. That's insanity. Yeah, we'll stay with up-tempo. Four-star school pride, still two-star team prestige. We do have another point to use. Let's go ahead and max out the uh, study hall for offensive and defensive ability. And then we'll be able to start specking into everything else. But yeah, we'll go with the maxed out study hall. All right, let's see what we can do. Start off against good old Maryland. And we have the BU Terriers as well, some of our old friends from our old conference. We fucking destroyed Baltimore. 104 to 27, and we barely beat the BU Terriers, 83 to 82. Maybe, now we don't know if we would have gotten the same caliber of players, but boy, can we please go back to our old conference? 
Jesus, 104 to 27. Their leading scorer had seven points and was two of 15 from the floor. This guy, all six of his points were fucking free throws. 33 points from Alpine effed it. Oh my god. Jesus. That was ruthless. All right, and again, now for these four, we just kind of waited out so we can get a look at their stats or to see if someone goes up a star. We head to Anaheim after playing good old Towson Towson. Towson Towson. Let's hope we can beat them. We really should. Thank God. We will take on, I believe this is Brown, isn't it? The Brown Bears? No, Missouri State Bears. We take on them here in Anaheim, and we win, which means the tournament final, we take on Florida State. If you watch my NCAA playthrough, you know I always have a fun time with Florida State. And we win! 103-68, to we're 5-0 to start the season. And we just won ourselves a tournament. And that gives us a new facility upgrade for winning that tournament. And we did beat an ACC team as well. That's huge news. So we now have two more unlocks for School Pride, meaning we are going to be able to max out the weight room and our team is going to be even better. That was a gigantic tournament win. So we now have a plus four on speed, strength, quickness, all of the shooting abilities, offensive and defensive ability, and discipline. We have the best team we've ever had. Five-star school pride as well. Five-star school pride. Meaning the band, the student section, the crowd, the cheerleaders. Our stadium becomes that much more difficult. Alphon becomes a little bit more of a fortress. Obviously, we will not be anywhere near the top 25 most difficult places to play. But we're a little bit closer in that regard than we've ever been. The top 25. We're not going to be there off of four non-conference games. Uh, in terms of the stadium, maybe we're closer, but we got a long way to go. Actually, I forget where to see the toughest places to play. I forget where that menu is. Oh, I found it. Toughest places to play. So Georgia Tech apparently has the toughest place in the nation. It only does the top 20. So obviously we got a ways to go. There's an autosave feature. It's fine. Uh, we take on the same fucking team we just demolished earlier on. If we lose to this team, I'm going to cry. We beat them 104 to 64. So that time they put up a much better offensive showing. Uh, we still dropped a combined 208 points on them in two games. Not bad. We head to December. Our final month of non-conference games. It's a busy one. Recruiting-wise, we're still looking okay. Let's take a look at these guys. The center, Ainsley Spears. Sato did not sign. But 17 points a game, 9 rebounds, 2 blocks. I think we offer this guy a scholarship right now. That's only one month in, but that's pretty promising. That's pretty damn promising for the opening month. And then the three forwards. 19 points a game for Matthew Chester. 16 points a game for Sylvester Gamble. And Andrew Neal's at 15. I think we go for Spears for the sole fact that he is a main boy as well. And um, that'll help us. That'll help us quite a bit. So we are going to offer Ainsley Spears the scholarship. I'm going to hold off on those forwards just for a little bit. We take on Samford and Robert Morris. The back half of the week. I refuse to get my hopes up. We lose to Samford, but we beat Robert Morris. 
So Samford hands us our first loss of the season. And when Dennis Rodman Jr. coming off the bench was our team leading scorer, that's all you have to know. We do get Ainsley Spears, the center. Now we kind of wait to see what happens with those forwards. Again, we have four scholarships at least, so. Uh, I forget who the hell the, the Seaman logo is. Let's be honest, that's what it is. Practically the Gorton Fisherman. Or, you know, a mountain man. Appalachian State, whatever. And then Florida Atlantic. We beat the old Mountaineers, the Appalachians. And we beat Florida Atlantic. So still just one loss on the season, 9-1. I don't know why it's saying Sanford lost to us, they beat us. Okay, we still got these forwards. 17, nearly 18 points a game for Chester. Gamble over 20 points a game from him so far. Andrew Neal at 14. Obviously, if we had to choose right now, I'd be looking at Sylvester Gamble. But I want to see if one of them goes four-star. Wyoming is next. We lose. 95-82. Second loss of the season. Very disappointing to lose to a team like Wyoming. Let's again double-check. What's going on with our boys here? Still all three stars. It's fine. We have Idaho State and Valparaiso. And the Anaheim Ducks just reversed. Our final three non-conference games. We get a win on Monday. We get a win on Tuesday. Can we get the win on Friday? Yes, we can. 12 and 2 as we end non conference play. That's not bad. I certainly wasn't expecting an undefeated run. We go 12 and 2 to begin this season. Again, we need to actually start winning stuff for our prestige to go up. Take a look at the recruiting. Still. All three-star guys. So in terms of tournament watch, obviously we won't know. It's too early. Indiana, the Hoosiers enter this time frame as the number one team in the nation. I know I scrolled through that pretty fast. I apologize, but we have our sights set on us and not so much our opposition. I will note... Raycroft is our top scorer, but Miles Davis really putting up the points this season, as is Eftit. All f Wow, Matt. God, Rodman and Scully aren't even starters. And they're averaging double digits per game. Holy shit. Wow. Um, I'm thinking Vin Scully should be our starting guard over Jackson Wax and Flax. Yeah, Vin Scully should be our starter, right? I mean, it's not even like Jackson has a crazy amount of assists. I think Vin's got to be our starter. We wanted the youngster and Jackson to be the starter, but no. And of course, Brosella is our starting point guard. Rodman coming off the bench has been amazing. So yeah, we are 100% going to make that change. Vin Scully will be the new starting shooting guard because he has been significantly better. And Rodman will stay as the sixth man. No doubt. No doubt. 84 for Miles Davis, now a junior. We can't waste this kid's career. We can't. We start off against LaSalle and George Washington. Two big challenges here. In terms of conference play... We do beat LaSalle. And we do beat George Washington. Fuck you, George. Cherry tree chopping bitch. 14 and 2 on the season.
Have any recruits changed their mind about us? The center we signed went up to four stars. Fuck yes. The center we signed weeks ago went up to four star. That's the type of break we needed. That's huge. One of our four scholarships goes to a four star. Awesome. This week, it's the Richmond Spiders and Fordham. Richmond's the real challenge here. Shout out to Hawks for the guys being dudes, by the way. As we end up beating Richmond. How was the audio on that, by the way? Let me know if it was a bit too low. I just added that feature, and it's tough to test the audio. We beat Richmond. And we beat Fordham. It was very low. Yeah, I figured it would be. Uh, here, let me try to... Try to mess with this. Um, again, I have had some really frustrating audio issues to navigate because of Twitch. Um, honestly, because of Twitch cracking down on music, uh, it's been a bit of a pain in the ass. But yeah, if you do that again in terms of the bits, Hawks again, thank you for that. Then yeah. I tried to make it so you guys could play more of the clips that I never fucking remember to play. Okay. We won both of those games. We're 16 and two. Let's take a look at recruiting again. Still just three stars for these three. We got uh, the New England Patriots, Dayton, and LaSalle again. We beat the Patriots, we beat Dayton. Come on. Come on. Ah, uh, Cameron, you'll hate to know that Eaton transferred. Fucking beat LaSalle, too. 19 and 2. We still have a month left. We're 19 and 2. In terms of the conference standings, we are a perfect 7-0. Ten wins in a row. We play Temple and the X-Men. We beat Temple. We beat the X-Men. 21-2. and two. Holy shit. This is easily the best season we've ever had. Now we just can't waste it. Those guys are still three stars, but again, we got Spears. I don't even know if we're going to sign any of those guys. Our losses this season were at home to Sanford. And we also lost on the road to Wyoming. Was that a 104 to 22? Yes. Let's look at the stats again. So it's still Ray Croft leading the way. Davis, Eftit, Rodman, Scully. Rosella averaging five assists per game. It's amazing how good... Ro Can Rodman play fucking forward? Um, we're going to double check some stuff real quick. Just for shits and gigs. What was Rodman's secondary position? Center. Okay. Well, the team stays the same then. We have the week off. And then it'll be a showdown with Dayton and George Washington. Let's double check recruitment. 
are all still three stars. Let's take a look at who the best one is, though. We have Matthew Chester. 19 points a game. Doesn't do much else. Okay, three-point shooter. I mean, 33%, 34%. Gamble. 20 points a game. Picks up some rebounds. A little bit worse as a three-point shooter. And then there's Neal. 14 points a game. Okay, Neal clearly isn't it. Like, unless Neal goes four-star. It's down to Chester and Gamble. And to be honest, I, I don't know. Get 19 points a game, does a couple of other things. 34% from three. 20 points a game. Not as good from three. Can rebound a little bit better. I'm not sure. But we have three scholarships left, and man, off-season recruits might be just as good. Another big week, Dayton and George Washington. We beat Dayton 104-60. to George Washington, always a tough team. We beat him again, those cherry chop cherry tree chopping sons of bitches. We are fucking 23 and 2. Holy fuck. Chester is averaging three steals a game. You're not wrong. Down to 18 points a game. Gamble's down to 17. It is Chester leading the way. We do have three scholarships left. Yeah, honestly, I think we're going to go for Chester. Let's make that official. Matthew Chester, you look like the better option. And then we'll save two scholarships for the offseason. The New England Patriots, the Richmond Spiders, and Fordham again. We beat the Patriots. We beat Richmond. We beat Fordham. 26-2. Twenty six and two. Oh, my God. Twenty six and two. Holy fuck. Like, I know we don't have the toughest schedule, but, like, man, this is all for naught. We do end up getting Chester as well. We'll keep an eye on the other two. UMass is looking okay. Tournament watch, I mean, obviously we're in an interesting spot. Xavier and Charlotte to end the season. We beat the X-Men. We're not going to bother trying to recruit Gamble or Neil at this point. Can we beat Charlotte to wrap up our season? Yes, we do. Twenty-eight and two season. We got another unlock, and we'll be able to start focusing on the injury clinic. Undefeated in conference play at 16 and 0. We've won 19 straight games. And it doesn't mean a fucking thing. Obviously, we're just not in a high enough deal to be able to do that. I mean, you can look by conference, and uh, apparently we didn't get All-American first team for anybody there. You fucking kidding me? Oh, cool. We finally got Raycroft in the All-Defensive team. <sighs> I 
Oklahoma State's ending the season as the number one team in the nation. None of this shit matters at this point. We have to get it done in the tournament. Please! Matthew Chester is a four-star talent. We are bringing in two four-star recruits already. Holy fuck. Chester also went four-star. Holy hell, man. To the conference tournament we go at 28 and 2. It's already an incredible recruitment class. As we look at our player stats from the season, five players in double digits, Rodman double digits in points per game. Rodman's double digits in points per game. And that motherfucker isn't even a starter. Almost 10 rebounds a game for both Eftit and Davis. Five assists per game, nearly six for Brosella. Both big men are averaging at least a steal per game and two blocks. Improving our defense has carried us a long goddamn way. A long way. Tez, thank you for the follow. We do get that initial buy. Coco, you beautiful, handsome devil. You're just about to watch us finally succeed or blow it. We take on St. Joseph's. Coco on the 25 beautiful months. I am afraid to sim this. I am so afraid to sim this at this point. Coco, thank you, you fucking handsome devil. at twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports. K-O-C-O -O Sports. He's a handsome man. He's a handsome man. <sighs> fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. I think we have to watch it. I think we have to watch it. I feel like... I feel like we have to, right? If we can't sim it, I think we watch it because I'm afraid to sim it because we always, or we can't sim and jump in. They have to earn it. I, I agree with not doing an in-depth sim because that always seems to go incredibly goddamn poorly. You motherfuckers have to earn the right. Do not lose. Do not lose. 83 to 75 over St. Joe's. 31 points for Rask for Raycroft. We take on Charlotte next. Fuck. Do not lose. Please. Please do not lose. It's against the Charlotte 49ers. Ninety four eighty five. We're in the conference final. Will it be UMass or the not New England Patriots? It's going to be the UMass Minutemen. The winner of this is guaranteed a spot in the national title tournament. I feel like we have to watch this game. I feel like we have to watch this game. Saving immediately. 